show you Conan and how we use it to package C and C++ dependencies. But first, I'll introduce myself briefly. So I'm Théo Delrieux. I work at Tanker, based in par Paris. And I use Conan a lot at work to package for Windows, every uh, Mac, o Mac OS, Linux, and Android and iOS. And I'm also uh, proudly, a very proud one-time contributor, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a start. So, uh, Tanker, we are doing an end-to-end -end encryption SDK. The first version is available in JavaScript. And we're currently uh, actively developing the Android and iOS SDK. So when we decided to develop the native version, everyone in the team was really excited because most of us have our backend developers. But uh, at one point, someone asked, well, what language should we use? And then after a few uh, days of constructive and intelligent discussions, we agreed on three key points that the language had to have. So the first of, of all is r write once, run everywhere. Because we don't want to write everything in Swift and then in Kotlin or Java. We wanted one code base. Then high performance, especially for mobile devices, and also great or at least good dependency management. And that's why we chose C++. Now I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this guy talking about? C++ and good dependency management don't go in the same slide. And it's true that usually it looks like this fellow, the usual C++ plus dependencies. I mean, who doesn't love to upgrade OpenSSL on Windows, for example, or Boost? But that was before Conan. So Conan is a C++ package manager. It works with other languages, but primarily, primarily uh, designed around those. Uh, it's decentralized, so you can host your own server. That's what we do. It's open source, available on GitHub. And it's written in Python. In Python, compatible with 2 and 3, so you can run it everywhere. So I have two parts now. I have one, uh, the basic uh, package creation, upload and retrieval, also package management aspect. And after that, I will show you more how we use Conan as a cross-build tool for Android. So first, there's uh, the Conan create method which allows you to create packages. So you have a recipe that I'll show in a bit. You can, uh, Conan Create will read the recipe, run it, and it will store the package in your local cache. After that, there's the Conan Upload method, which will find local packages you want to upload, and then upload it to the, the remote of your choice. So here's how a recipe looks like. It's plain path, Python. So we import this Conan file from the uh, Conan's Python module. <coughs> so the Conan file is the basic framework we will use. So we I have a small library called Arithmetic, which exposes a uh, NAD function. And so I derive my Arithmetic Conan class. So there's the, a few attributes, the name, the version, and then there's the settings. So the OS and Arch that you see here, are the operating system and the architecture on which the package will run. Build type, debug or release, and then compiler. Now we need to retrieve sources. So I will fetch the source from my GitHub account and simply <coughs> run uh, git clone. And then I will use the CMake helper in the build method to configure, build, and install my project. Uh, I will only use CMake during this presentation. Conan provides a lot of helper. You can work with Meson, AutoTools, and a lot of, uh, of, of uh, uh, sorry, lots of others. English. And then there's uh, we need to expose to our consumers uh, some information. In this case, which library they need to link against. There's others. Um, there's other attributes by default, like the include directory, which is named include by default, so you don't have to specify that. So then, to consume package, you need to use the Conan install method. So there's um, an error in the slides here. It's not run recipe. It's check requirements, 
so there's a command file.txt that I'll show in the next slide where you declare your requirements. So it can install with read that file, then try to fetch packages in, uh, it, uh, either in your local cache or in remotes. And then finally it will generate build information files. In this case CMake, so it will generate a Conan build info.cmake file containing every include, uh, library directory, uh, uh, targets, etc. etc. Like uh, a PKG config file. So in our uh, Conan file.txt, we have simply this uh, section requires, and we have to put references to our packages. In Conan, references are composed of the name of the package, its version, and then a username and a channel. So the username is usually the author of the recipe, in this case me, and the channel can be compared to a git branch. So by in Conan by default the stable branch, the stable channel is the master branch. And then we need to say, to tell Conan, we want uh, CMake files generated. Here you can put a lot of other things, so I said pkg config, you can use even Xcode files, don't use that, but yeah, uh, you can use that. And then one final thing to change to our uh, project. So this is a cmakelist.txt that was written before the Conan integration. As you can see we have our calculator project, we have a fine package, then add executable and finally we link uh, our executable to the package that we found. If you use find package f with Conan there's only two lines to include. You have to include the file that Conan generated previously and then you need to call this Conan basic setup macro and that's it. If you like me and you don't like writing fi uh, package files you can simply use the targets argument to the Conan basic setup macro and it will then Conan will uh, create a namespace named Conan PKG and add a target for each of re your dependencies so here I replaced the arithmetic dot dot arithmetic by Conan PKG arithmetic so time for a little demo so I'm inside the arithmetic uh, folder and I will use Conan create to create the package. So Conan create, it needs f two arguments, the path to the recipe and the username and channel. Clean the sources and here we go. So in the up oh, so here uh, you can see Conan is running the source method, so cloning in the GitHub now it's launching CMake to build the package, install, and done. And we can see with the Conan search method, I will up oh, arithmetic like one. And here we can see we have a package in our local cache with all those settings. So now I want to upload this package to my Bintray account. So I have I have one remote, so force them, and then I rewrite this with up. You can see I upload the rec the recipe, and then the package dot gz gz. Mm -hmm. So now. I will try to use my package. I will on purpose remove it from my local cache to show you the fetching from the server. So I'm going to remove I will cool. Yes. So I have my command file.txt in my CMake. There's only the two include lines like I saw I showed you, you before. So let's create a build directory and then run conan install and give it the, the path to the conan file.txt. So 
So it tried to run on the default, the official uh, repository remotes, didn't find anything. And so it, it found in FOSDEM 2018, download the package, and the, here generated the CMake file. Now all I need to do is CMake, run CMake, run Ninja, and can use our calculator. Great. So Conan auto detected my settings, but you can specify your own. Like here, I want, let's say I have GCC 7, and I want to use a really old uh, version of GCC 6, and I uh, use the dash S options to specify the setting. So let's say we want to build for Clang 5 the, with the newest GCC ABI, debug build. It gets a bit tricky because, yeah, it's hard to type, it's long enough. So there's a solution. You can use profiles instead, and that's what you can use when you don't write any settings. It generates a default profile, so that's the one generated on my machine, Linux, x64, GCC7, and quick PSA. By default, um, Conan will put the libstud C++, the old GCC ABI, as a default. You don't, if you want the newest, you have to use libstud C++11. That's not uh, something you want to discover after building 30 packages, like me. Uh, so let's refactor our command line, and we'll use so simply clang version 5 with the newest ABI in debug mode. And now we'll simply rerun Conan create, now with the double dash profile uh, option, and giving our profile. You can still use the dash s option to specify setting to override the default ones, uh, or the ones specified in your profile. So now I'll focus more on the yeah, cross-building tool aspect and not so much the package management to show you how we can use uh, uh, Conan packages to cross-compile for Android quite simply. So we have a list of prerequisites for Android building, the NDK, of course. We will use standalone Android toolchain, and we need a new Conan profile. But first, I want to introduce uh, build requirements. So if you have a package A, which in its recipe is declaring self.envinfo.foo equals bar, and that you have a package B that declares a build requirement on the package A, during the creation of package B, it will uh, export the environment variable in, inside the environment of uh, your shell. So inside package B, you could do echo dollar foo, and you have bar. Same thing with uh, self CPP info that we saw in the previous slides. If I declare self.cppinfo.sysroot equals the path to my Android sysroot, it will appear inside package B in the recipe as self.depths.cppinfo.sysroot. And why is that useful? Because the CMake helper will be able to automatically detect that and set the sysroot accordingly. So what we'll do, we'll build a standalone toolchain that we have a build requirement on the NDK, and then we will throw the NDK and only use uh, this is tool chain. And here, Arithmetic will have also a build requirement on the tool chain. So, before that, to, before showing you the recipes, there's uh, our Android profile. As you can see, the OS and Arch are be, have been uh, changed so to Android, ARMv8. There's this OS API level that is uh, specific to Android. And then we'll use a Clang 5 with libc++. <laughs> and there's two new settings that have been introduced in Conan 1.0 uh, to uh, ease the development of build requirement packages. Because I want the NDK to run on my build platform, not on an Android device. And that's how, why OS build uh, helps to make the difference. 
otherwise you will get yeah, a, a C++ compiler that can run on your mobile phone. You don't want to use that. So here OS build equals Linux and OS build equals x64. So the NDK recipe, like before, same Conan file start. And then the settings, we only, in, only need OS build and OS build because we will fetch the uh, pre-compiled binary uh, arch archive uh, for Linux x64. <coughs> then this package method, I didn't use it in the previous slide because CMake installs already de did the job, but here there's no CMake and all we want to do is copy everything from the Android NDK uh, un 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 uncompressed archive, archive sorry, to our package folder. And then, to be able to build a standalone toolchain, we need to have access to this build slash tools folder. That's why we put it in our self.envinfo.path. So, which means in the standalone toolchain recipe, this build tools folder will be in the path. And once this toolchain will be created, it will be removed. So, the toolchain recipe, there's a problem in the slide. Um, we same thing. We need OS build, OS build, and then we declare our build requirements on the pre pre previous uh, package that we built. In the build command, we only need this make standalone toolchain.sh, which is located in the NDK tools folder. So we simply run it, and then in the package info, we set our sysroot. So. Build requirements can be uh, specified in two ways, either in the recipe, but it's okay for a few packages, but here I want to use my toolchain each time that I want to cross-compile, and I don't want to use it to add a build requirement in every recipe. So what I can do is add uh, the build requires section in my profile and put it there. And now, each time that I will use this profile, I will uh, use this build requirement. So it's time for our final demo. I already downloaded the NDK, so you won't have to watch a progress bar for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So let's simply build the tool chain. And have my Android profile. I'm cheating a bit because I only handle uh, one tool chain, ARM64, and that's it for the sake of simplicity. And then I have my tool chain, so I can show you inside my local cache. Here I have everything already packaging, packaged for compilation. So let's go into our previous arithmetic folder. If you can create. So now we can see the Conan output. So here Conan tells us your course building from Linux 64 to Android ARM 64. Same thing as before. And here there's a build requirement. So our tool chain has been correctly detected. Simply, we haven't changed the um, arithmetic recipe, which is great. And now CMake already uh, finds everything, the API level, the ABI, etc., the compiler. Everything gets built. So I can rerun Conan search. Sorry. Oop. And I, now I have two packages. First one for my own my machine, and here for Arch and Android API, API 21. And that's it. So I, post, I added a few links, so our website, our documentation, our, our GitHub, and the Conan website, Conan GitHub. There's also a Slack channel on the CPP link uh, Slack. You can join the uh, hashtag Conan. And I guess I'll take some questions from now.
Does it work on the Windows? Does it work on the Windows? Yes, okay. yes. Is it possible to directly build dev or RPM packages from Conan? Uh, I, I know, this, uh, so the question is, is this possible to build uh, dev or RPM packages directly from Conan? Um, I don't know. I've only packaged uh, C++ dependencies from, uh, uh, I, I have no knowledge in uh, distribution package management, sorry, <laughs> a bit of an intruder, but um, it might be possible, I don't know, I should, uh, I should check. Yes? How many packages are there kind of free package available already, or how much did you need to do yourself? Okay, um, so the question is, uh, how many packages are already available, um, pre-packaged, and how many I had to build myself? So I started to use Conan in the 0 0.20 uh, uh, version, so the focus was more on the uh, so, uh, code source and debugging, uh, uh, stabilization, etc. So there's more and more package on the Conan sender and the bean crafters uh, repository for boost. Uh, there's a recipe that uh, for Android, iOS, etc. You can use. But I had to do lots uh, myself. So, yeah. <laughs> Can you make a private repository, or is this a public repository? Is it standard? Uh, uh, so, is this? Uh, can you make a private repository? Uh, we own our uh, own uh, Conan server on uh, our uh, server uh, at work, and yeah, you can. It's decentralized, so you can do whatever we, you want. You can host your uh, own packages. That's what we do. Uh, is Conan also useful in a um, multi-language uh, when, when, when there are also bindings involved? For, for example, if you uh, have not only a, a C library, but also mm. with Wig. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the question is, uh, does Conan only work on C and C++ uh, binaries? You can package uh, other languages, but the helpers uh, are the, that are available, so the self.cpp info, the CMake helper, etc., are more uh, focused on C and C++. But you can do that. I package uh, GDK, GDK, and you, I think it works also for Go. It doesn't really care about that, but maybe you have to use a different uh, class than the Conan file. Let's say the Conan file framework is more designed around C and C++, but yeah, you could make your own for another language. Is there a dynamic behind this technology? So, yeah. Is there a competitor in this field? Is there competitors uh, in this field? Uh, are there, is, is this the dynamic? So there was uh, previously uh, an attempt to for a cross uh, for a C++ package manager. I think it was named B code, uh, and it's dead. So. But uh, on the, their repository, the guys behind uh, Conan are very reactive. They're backed by Jeff Frog, and yeah, they work full time on this. Uh, they're very uh, welcoming. You can post uh, any issues, and uh, they will answer in the day. So, so, so uh, how do bootstrap? So it's de decentralized, mm -hmm. and, and how do I know if, if if there's already some channel out there which? Packages for the need. Is, is there some so uh, how do I know uh, if uh, s s if uh, there is al already packages from me for me on other remotes? That's so I use the Conan search method to you search inside my uh, own uh, package uh, in my own local cache. You could use it to look for remotes. By default, you only have uh, two or three remotes uh, installed. But yeah. Um, since I've built everything all, all, almost myself, uh, I had no use for uh, Conan Search, but I think it, it works uh, great. Should try then. <laughs> yes? I have a question. I think it's a bit the same, but is there like a um, uh, list of remotes or central repository mm. you can search? Yes. So by default, uh, so, sorry, the question is uh, is there a, yeah, a list of uh, remotes that you can look for? Um, by default, there's the Conan Center, uh, really the stable master uh, branch, the Conan Transit, and there's um, 
another uh, organization, uh, bin crafters, that are making, uh, they succeeded in making a modular, modular boost uh, installation. So I didn't think it was possible. So uh, yeah, you can, they're doing a lot of uh, packages. You can look for that. Okay. Yes. Is there any API for licensing? Like uh, so, is there any API for licensing? I haven't shown in the d demo, but in the attributes you can use license, uh, and in, I think it can be, yeah, a search uh, in. Uh, I need to check, but it it will su surprise me if it didn't work. Yes. How does uh, this code do relocation of the binaries? Uh, sorry. Does, it, does it relocate the binaries to the downloads? So con uh, does Conan relocate the binaries it downloads? Uh, no, there's no, I, I don't think so. There's no, uh, they don't touch the binaries once it's, uh, okay. uh, so what do you mean exactly? Uh, how does, I mean, how do the dependencies know where to find each other? Is that your responsibility? As ah, well? okay. So how does the packages uh, find their own requirements? Well, you declare them. Uh, I haven't used that, uh, but if, you, let's say, I, I package uh, Zlib, and I want to de depend on Zlib on another package, so I've shown the build requires uh, attributes, and there's also the requires attributes. Sure. So you just once put, it's, yes. Once it's linked, Wait, right? yes. Once it's linked, do you put RPADs or anything? Oh, uh, Oh, for building for shared library, yeah, uh, about our path. Um, so I mainly use static libraries in in work at work, but for uh, shared library, you can by so yeah, okay, I get I get the by default there's no R pass R pass uh, for uh, on macOS uh, they're all stripped, so you just have the name of the library and then it's your uh, it's your work to. I have some fun with install name tool, for example. <laughs> so uh, on that note, how, how do you deal with, suppose that you're on a system that has an older lib standard C++ and you build something with the newer lib standard C++, mm -hmm. do you make the binary know where the new tool chain is, or do you, um, you just, is that your responsibility too, to know that you built this? Uh, <laughs> so um, is that your responsibility to tell a binary where the C++ standard library is on a non-standard -stand platform? Um, so by default, there is no R pass, but you can let them. Uh, you can, yeah. But I think I had to uh, say, say in the tool chain, for example, for Android, we want to build a tooling with the static uh, lib C++. So we had to, in the tool chain, add link flags for every package built uh, with that uh, library, and then it worked. But for sh shared, uh, uh, I didn't use that, so <laughs> it's quite a tricky question. <laughs> I need, but maybe we can see uh, after the talk if you want. Yes. Um. To avoid to mess up with like system libraries or the one like you do <coughs> with your package manager, like package manager on Linux or Spark, use a compiler or wrapper. Do you do the same or not? Uh, so uh, in the, uh, you mean in the Android tool chain? No, I mean um, when you compile software, let's say that I have Boost installed locally on mm -hmm. my system, mm -hmm. I installed Boost with Kernel. Ah, okay. You have a lot of CMake, if they are badly done, they are going to use the local one, and I don't want that. So like you have some package manager okay. that needs a package. So so how do you deal when you have a, a library installed on your system and already and some uh, the same library installed with Conan? So if you use in your CMEC file the include that I've shown, um, it simply uh, takes precedence over the system package. I, I, I don't remember exactly the CMake term, but it's yes, the fine module and uh, yeah. The user to in yes, the CMake. If you just use fine package or uh, yeah, f for example, fine package, which would uh, usually find the uh, system library, then if you use fine package and include the Conan line, it will find the Conan libraries. You do it, you do it. Yes. That's about all the time we've got. Yeah. We can do. Yeah. Switch over. Thank you very much.